so dear student welcome welcome to the ppt class here this is mohammad mahawalam lecturer in chemistry emts rajagutra model college the contents on which i would like to deliver my lecture is basically based on the homework for the student of class 6 of chapter 7 the name of the chapter is properties of matter and external effect and basically i have already mentioned i prepared this uh, presentation class based on homework now, first of all, critic questions. Mr. Fosdul Hawk's mother uses an earthen oven and clay pots to cook meals. On the other hand, his wife uses a gas oven and cooks in an aluminum pan. So, first of all, the first question is, what is metal? How can you get three different states of water? Explain the significance of the elements of the utensil used by Mr. Fosdul Hawk's wife and mother who gets more advantage while cooking meals analyze. So this is the first pretty question is very important for your next exam. Mm, second pretty question is look at the following figures of the stem please. Here there is three figures you know XYZ. And first question is what is volume? What do you mean by solid body? How can you get differentiate? How can you differentiate among three states x, y, z of the matter? You have to differentiate among x, y, z, three states of matter. And last d, y has no definite size. Y has no definite size but retains a constant volume. Whereas z has no both definite size and volume. Its explanation. So this is also an important question. And now last critic questions. Look at the following figure of the stem and answer the question. Here is a figure uh, having three spawn of different types of matter uh, due to the explain due to explain thermal conductivity. You know, so you have to answer the following question. First of all, what is thermal conductivity? Why copper is used in electric wires? Metals are good conductor of heat and electricity. Its explanation how can you explain thermal conductivity when using this figure after you uh, in this presentation class I suggest you three critical question and after completing your critical question you have to complete you have to answer very short questions most of the questions in this part are one word answer based questions and some Questions are basically I give you some definition. Uh, in case of definition, you have to give answer uh, not more than two lines. So question number uh, A: What is matter? What is volume? What does happen when if, when if each of ice is kept in a pot at room temperature? Number T: Write down the three states of matter. Number E: What does happen? When vapor is cooled to room temperature, write down three examples of less rigid solid body. Which one, which one's particles are packed closely among three states of matter? Now, very short questions. Which matter has a constant volume but no definite size? Which matter has no definite size and volume? Which matter holds the size of the container? but retains its volume what is rigidity what is flexibility what is boiling point what is melting point what is freezing point now very short questions which metal can be used for cooking which is the uh, what is the melting melting point of wax what is the freezing point of wax write down the three example of metal write down the three examples of metal is both melting point and freezing point of wax same what is cooling what is thermal conductivity what is electrical conductivity light is one kind of metal you know light is sorry light is not uh, light is one kind of metal you have to answer is it true or false light is one kind of matter this converted part is it true or false you have to explain or give answer within one word now what do you mean 
by non conductor or insulator what do you mean by non conductor of insulator or insulator write down one example of rigid matter write down one example of flexible matter write down one example of shiny matter which state has greater density among three state which state has greater density among three state and last question of the class which metal can give which metal can conduct electricity we know there are number of metal can conduct electricity among the which metal can act as a good conductor you have to answer this question so in very short question session there are two types of question one type of question is basically based on definition another is basically one word answer so in case of definition the answer should not be more than two or three lines and in case of one word questions uh, you must have to answer the question uh, and uh, your questions within one word you should try your best and these are the homeworks based on this chapter 7 properties of metal and it, and external effect and I will, uh, you must have to ensure this homework and I will check your homework in your regular class. So stay at home and be safe at this uh, difficult condition of the world and be safe and pray for me. I also pray for you. So Allah bless dear student. Thanks to all.